NHS Monday. Tuesday, there's uh, the Evil Kings show. got the one yeah, in Smash Detroit show. and, uh, you know, GGSS or GGSW. Then, then Smash. Friday Wednesday's night got Smash. Westland. Friday yeah, night yeah. Smash Atlanta. Friday's Thursday is Southfield. So that's six. <laughs> plus plus uh, Jackson's new weekly and Sunday Mega XP. Yeah, if we include the weekends, then we've got. <laughs> Anyways, more, but yeah, we, we have uh, plenty of weeklies and plenty of practice to, uh, you know. Oh, it's conscious. You can, you, can, okay. you can compete any day that you want to compete yeah. in Southeast Michigan. Yeah. yeah, it's conscious. It's not uh Not med I was wrong. Is that font really bad? No. No, oh. I didn't say it was bad. No. Oh, no, I was just making sure because, like, we changed it from last week to try to make it more legible. No. Oh, the font? Yeah. No, I was just being a gym and uh, messing up names and people. <laughs> Wait, he – yeah. He was – Division over here doesn't know the Michigan scene. Yeah, so no. it's a a AF division. All right. Oh, Respect. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Gucci knows me. <laughs> uh, yes. Nick Cat has a little bit of trouble with Fox. He always has. He recently finally beat Kenta for the first time after, like, uh, I don't know how many times he lost to his Fox in a row. Okay. But he beat him last time. Okay. Um, but besides that one, historically, Nick Cat has a lot of trouble with Fox. And uh, I believe Cheesecake does, too, as far as the... Ninjas go. Both very similar play styles in the rush down, uh, and the rush down uh, aspect. Like similar levels too. Yeah. He, I, he just hit down tilt and conscious air dodge after the down tilt. And so I hit him with another one. He did it like three times in a row. But yeah, uh, Nickel Kick and Cheesecake are really similar skill level. Um, well, I mean, you know, Fox does have his advantages in the matchup, that's for sure. As we're seeing right here, this. Uh, caught in the Fox Vortex right now, just trying to get down and trying to find that, the stage. He uh, stalled his fall with the Shuriken right there, which, I, you know, I've seen Greninja do that a lot of times, but normally it's offensively to extend combos, and using a defensive release right there to not get hit by Fox's up smash is, was good. Uh, he's he's going to need everything he can get here trying to find the stage, but right now he does have uh, Conscious in that same particular position, but these two are really just trading trading opportunities yeah. in the air, right? Oh my gosh. Um, a second ago, Nivercat was down by over 100%. He was well over kill percent when Conscious was at zero. And Nivercat has made a super comeback since then. Yeah, he's really holding And at this stage. point, they're both about to die from any good... Whoa, why that Nair versus that up smash scared me. Mm -hmm. yeah, just barely working Even out Even if it would have traded, yeah. Nivercat would have been crushed. Oh yeah. It just beat him. Without a doubt, Nivercat lives to see another day. And right now, he's holding all the, all the control. All right, that was a good recovery right there from Adam getting oh, back to man. stage. That could have been up smash. He did the dash tag instead. Yeah. Maybe just not recognizing his situation. Oh, somebody hit someone. I'm, I'm a little too anxious for this. <laughs> I mean, one hit, you know, it's just come down to one hit. Yeah. Last, last situation. Oh there it is. Oh, my gosh. Back air does not kill. <laughs> I mean, it does if you're at 150% rage and there are... Light character at under 30. I was going to say, but Fox at a still, high it's a, you rarely <laughs> see Greninja's back air kill. Yeah, rarely, but. What a comeback that was. That was. Yeah. That was impressive. He was over 100% while Conscious was still at zero on his last stock. It all changed when Nick was finally able to zone Conscious out heavily. He was like, for the last 30 seconds, there was no time when Conscious was on the ground. Was was on the I, was yeah. any pressure? I he was trying, the, trying to get back to stage. The reason that Nivercat was at such high percent in the first place, and the reason he was able to make the comeback, both were because these characters could take one once they got the advantage in neutral. Once they got stage position, they did huge damage to their opponent. So Conscious had stage position, and he racked Nivercat all the way up to 120. And then Nivercat finally took it back himself, and he evened it up. And like they both did a really good job of of utilizing their advantageous position. Yeah, it's clear what each pl each player in the situation is kind of banking off of, you know what they're looking for. And uh, we're just kind of seeing them feel each other out here. Of course, learning from the first match, Nickelcat has had some time to adjust, so he's off to a bit of a better pace in this game. Uh, not, you know, falling down as quickly as he did the previously. You know, he's holding his own quite well, but Conscious still pushing really hard right now. I hope that Conscious, wow. Wow, wow. Fantastic combo. Yeah, I, I say, it made me say wow three times, which, <laughs> Which is like not how I want to represent myself on commentary, but <laughs> that's all I right, was gonna man. say. I hope that that was a great tech tech save his life. I hope the conscious uh, doesn't air dodge as much as he did in the last game. Yeah, he is finding himself in the air a lot, and that is that just not surprising. Enough. I'm I am actually pretty surprised that he couldn't make it back from that. Yeah. Fire, the firebox is cause covers great distance. There's no doubt yeah, about that. Yeah, and he wasn't even like in the yeah. magnifier when he started it. I would I definitely would have thought he was gonna come back. That's, that's quite unfortunate as Conscious finds himself down early See in the game. 
Nickelcat knows dodging. he's going to air dodge everything, and he's been punishing it like crazy. Yeah, Nick's number one goal right now is to put him in the air, and he's getting uh, you know, the panic options that he needs. Yeah. That, there's a nice little chase down that right up, there. Yeah, I don't know if he meant to go to the ledge, but he sealed his fate by, by bypassing it. Yeah, once you go into tumble, you're, uh, you're pretty free. Yeah, and with Fox, too. <laughs> yeah. So fast. Such a good up smash. All right, though. Conscious keeping himself in this one as well as he tries to claw his way back. Let's see if he can make the comeback to Nickel Cat, man. The last one. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, Not man. like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That was very close. In fact, uh, Conscious is very lucky to be alive. I think a uh, slight air dodge may have even saved him there. Is this going to, yeah. that's, yeah, Town and City, I was going to say, that's going to kill him. Not a doubt. And it looks like Nick, he had a rough start. There, There's uh, no doubt about that. It's rare that up throw, up air with Greninja is a true, true combo, but it, if you do anything besides air dodge, then it'll hit. Mm -hmm. Like, normally you